Welcome to the Neat Natural Nature Nart Walk. I mean, the Neat Natural Nature Art Walk. I bet you didn't know what you were in for today, but we have the coolest pictures of nature. Have you ever wondered, why did God create nature? And why is it so awesome? Well, today we have some pictures about why God created nature so awesome. Hey, look, there's our first picture. Follow me. Well, hey everybody, here's our first picture of the neatest nature nerd. Hey, go ahead, sir, tell us about your na nature nerd. Yeah, sure, you betcha. See, look at that, look at them trees right there. Those oh. trees, those trees are neat. Those they, great trees. I can take them trees there, and I can uh -huh. chop them trees down, yeah. and I can turn it into wood, and that wood I can turn into lumber. Wow. And I can take that lumber, I can make cool stuff with that. Sure, yeah, nature's sure neat. I love the way you described it. Hey, look, there's another picture. Oh, wow, great picture. Hey, Mr. Sweet Mustache, why'd you choose this cool picture of neat natural nature art? Well, there's nothing better than a sweet ride up the mountains, swimming across rivers, climbing every tree. That's what nature is really all about. Oh, wow, the adventure. Gosh, oh, yeah. I love the way you paint a picture with your mustache. Whoa, another picture. Wow, mister, what are you doing? You're sure breathing heavy. Will you tell us all about your new natural nature art? Yes, I would love to. I'm trying to breathe in all the oxygen as much as I can because in nature, I would love to preserve it because it gives us so much oxygen and it's just so beautiful, man. And I just can't get enough of this oxygen. Oh my gosh, you're right. <laughs> so cool and worth preserving, you guys. Mm -hmm. It's all about that O2. Whoa, there's one more picture. No mistakes, only happy accidents. Well, only gee, why is that good number over here, mister? What's your neat natural nature and art telling us all about? Well, I'm just painting over here. We're just, mm. we're just making a happy little painting That's over beautiful. here. Oh. Making a, a little happy, happy leaf down here. So happy. Maybe, maybe, maybe even up here we'll add Maybe we'll add this tree right sure. here, and uh, we'll, we'll give it some leaves. I love it, just nature's look at so cool! It's, it's so easy, you just press the brush in just uh, like this, just uh, one, one swipe, and then it's a perfect picture. Look uh, at this, do you see that? Isn't it beautiful? Nature's uh, beautiful! Mm. Mister, just like your afro. Hey, golly, I gotta run! Thank you, sir. I love nature, I really do. Nature's sure great, isn't it, mustache man? Cool afro, dude. Wow, we saw some great pictures. Thanks for showing me, guys. Wow. Hey, that picture kind of kind of looks familiar. That looks like it's got it's got all your pictures in it. Wow, nature's sure neat. I guess God created it for everything. This month, we will be focusing on nature, and specifically on gardens, trees, sheep, and vineyards. We'll be looking at how God is teaching us all throughout the Bible using nature. And the Bible is split into two parts, and it has 66 books. But guess what? It is all connected. In the first part and the second part, it's all connected. Did you know in the beginning of the Bible, the very first people, Adam and Eve, they were created in a garden, and that garden was called the Garden of Eden. And in the garden, there were trees and plants and animals, and Adam and Eve were entrusted to protect it all. But there was one tree with one fruit that they weren't supposed to eat from, but they did it anyway. And so humans were no longer able to live with God anymore in the garden. Then, towards the end of the Bible, Jesus is getting ready to die, and he goes to a garden to pray. And then in the garden, he's taken and he's killed on a cross, which is made from a tree. And that is where our connection to God is restored. And these are not just coincidences. God is teaching us. And he's teaching us that he had a plan from the very, very beginning. Even though people make mistakes and they separate themselves from God, he still wants us to know him and to worship him. The author of Psalms in Psalms 96 verses 11 and 12 says this, Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and everything in it shout his praise. Let the fields and their crops burst out with joy. Let the trees 
of the forest sing joy. And later in Psalm 150 verse 6 it says this, Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Yes, praise the Lord. Everything that was created is shouting praise to God and is showing us how great God is. Nothing that God created was created on accident. He made everything. He made you and he made me and he made all of nature to worship and to love him. And that is why we will be learning more about nature and all of the connections throughout the Bible. Because God is teaching us to know him and to love him through nature. One more thing before I go. I would love to connect with whoever is watching this video somehow, but I don't know how to do that unless you tell me who you are and reach out to me. It would seriously make me so happy to know who's watching these videos. So here's what I need you to do. Would you go draw me a picture of your favorite thing in nature? It could be your favorite animal, it could be the mountains, it could be the sun, or the sky, or the clouds, or the grass, or whatever. And make sure you write your name so I know who you are and I know what your favorite part about nature is. You can mail those pictures to our address, which is 517 Shiloh Road in Billings, Montana. Or you could email it to us, to kids at faithchapel.cc. Have a great weekend, buddy.